On the ice, representing Canada, Caitlin Oslo. Taking the ice is the leader after the short program, looking to win this Grand Prix final for the first time. It's her second straight trip here the 22 year old from sherwood park alberta caitlin osman the world silver medalist she was on fire in the short program a personal best her short program is her cup of tea if you will in the free skate she struggles to keep it together She opens with the triple flip, triple toe loop. Watch the height. Creative of execution, 1.40. I might have given a little bit more for that. Double axle, triple toe. So strong. Big triple lutz. She does have to watch out for her takeoff edge to make sure she's correctly going on the back outside edge and not the inside edge. You will get a call for that if they notice that. The three-time Canadian national champ won Skate Canada and then a bronze medal at Grand Prix France. No Canadian woman has ever won or finished in the top two at the Grand Prix final. Basically, there's something so special about the way she is doing black swan. You can see all the way through her pointer fingers, almost how she breaks them like a wing would be, a bit broken at that cusp of elbow, doubling out there on the loop. She really needs to bring it back. This is that point that she's worked on to really keep that mental focus because it's so hard, you make a mistake and you get flustered and you have to get right back into the program. costly mistakes, but some powerful, beautiful elements. Over the past two seasons, I'd say she's made a lot of moves to be that Canadian lady heading into an Olympic Games that could be on the podium. 
Now, her short programs are always so strong. It's Edith Piaf. It's very in her wheelhouse. The free program is where she lets her mind unravel halfway through the program. It's a consistent mistake. So I'm going to work on for Pyeongchang. Joanie Rochette, the last major star that stands out in Canada. The next one could be Caitlin Osmond in this Olympic season. Kiss and cry, waiting for the numbers. Caitlin Osman, along with her longtime coach, Robbie Walia. So 138.12, and overall into second place. That's right where she should be. Maria Sotskova was much cleaner on the day. Trying to make sense of the numbers as she looks up, a nod from her coach. Robbie didn't coach any other quote-unquote stars at this level, but has been with her for a long time, 12 years. 